So guys, for the first step, once you're on our desktop, you wanna right click on your desktop and then click on new and then click on folder. So make a new folder on your desktop. And now you wanna head over to the first link, which will be down below in the description to download steam underscore API dot DOL. We're gonna scroll down and then click on download on the first one. It's gonna start downloading in five seconds. Now you wanna to go to the second link to get steam underscore API 64 DOL. Now we're gonna scroll down again and get the first one, click on download. And now we're gonna have both of these files right here. So now I'm gonna head over to search and type in file explorer, click on it. And now I'm in file explorer. Now I have the new folder that I created earlier on my desktop. So now once you're in file explorer, you're gonna to go to your downloads folder. You're gonna be seeing both these files that you downloaded. So you're gonna double click on the steam underscore API. You're gonna drag this DRL file into this folder. Now we're gonna go back to downloads and then click on the steam underscore API 64. Drag this DRL file into this folder. Now if I open up the folder, we should be having two DRL files, steam API and steam API 64. And now you wanna head over to steam and then click on library in the top. You wanna to go to the game that you're having a problem with. You wanna right click on the game and then click on properties and then click on installed files and then click on browse. And now this will come up. Now we're just gonna drag in those two files from that folder into this one. So here's the two files. I've got steam API, steam API 64. Drag them both into this folder. If it says to you that you need to replace the file, click on replace. And now for the next step, you wanna click on steam in the top left and then click on settings. And then once we're in the steam settings, on the left hand side, you wanna select downloads. And then once we're here, you wanna click on clear cache and then confirm. It will now sign you out of Steam and then you just wanna sign back into Steam. Now, once you sign back into Steam, it should be working for you. If that's not working, then for the next method, you wanna right click on your game and then click on properties and then click on installed files. Once you're in installed files, you wanna click on verify integrity of game files. Wait for this to load. Once it loads up, this should now fix your problem.